the LG V20 user here, and I have some great news for those of you who are on T-Mobile and Metro PCS, guys. So I'm on T-MobileNews.com here, reading out this article, and as you guys can see by the title of, of this article, it says T-Mobile may increase the prioritization threshold to 50 gigabytes. 50 fucking gigabytes, guys. So um yeah, so um uh yeah, so that's good news. For those of you here on T-Mobile and Metro PCS, alright, uh, just ignore the ads and shit. Um, here's the original. I'm gonna read the original here. Um, the original is like the original thing that they said. It says, after raising its depowerization threshold 32 gigabytes back in May, it looks like T-Mobile is set to bump it up again this week. On September 20th, which is tomorrow, today September 19th on the East Coast, it's about 1 o'clock here on the East Coast, September 19th, tomorrow, September 20th, T-Mobile will increase its fair usage threshold from 32 gigabytes to 50 fucking gigabytes. According to a T-Mobile news source, the folks at Android Central received a similar tip today. It says that this 50 gigabyte threshold won't change every quarter and no longer involves a specific percentage of data users. As with the current 32 gigabyte threshold, customers that exceed this new 50 gigabyte deprioritization threshold in a single month may experience reduced speeds in areas where the network is ingested. 50 fucking gigabytes, that's a fucking win. Great job, T Mobile. Great job, John Ledger. That's a fucking win. Dude, T-Mobile, T-Mobile's fucking, T-Mobile's the set, T-Mobile's fucking checking up the uh, data game here. To compare, Sprint's depolarization threshold is currently 22 gigabytes, while AT&T and Verizon's is 22 gigabytes. Uh, so that tells you something, that's more than double what T-Mobile, I mean that's more than what Sprint. AT&T and Verizon has on the on the depolarization threshold. T-Mobile tomorrow, September 20th, will bump up the uh, data depolarization threshold to 50 fucking gigabytes. 50. I know a lot of people use a lot of data. Uh, I knew I, I use like a couple hundred gigabytes. I use a few hundred gigabytes every month, probably. Ever use like a lot of hotspot and streaming shit, but I do use a lot of data on my Verizon on the Linux plan. Uh, but 50. 50 fucking gigabytes before you're uh, deprioritized, it's a fucking win. I mean, dude, that shit's fucking crazy. And not only is it for uh, T Mobile customers, it's also for Metro PCS as well on, on the prepaid side of things. So I thought when T Mobile, I thought when T Mobile raised its uh, threshold to 32, I thought that Sprint, AT&T, and Verizon would respond. So far, they had not responded. So. They're keeping it the same. Sprint's 23 gigabytes. AT&T and Verizon are 20 gigabytes before you deprioritize. Uh, T-Mobile regularly touts its network having the mecca's best on the network. Every carrier says that. And while this isn't true unlimited, it it would still be it would still be good to see T-Mobile once again increase its deprioritization threshold and widen the gap between it. And its competition. Some cu customers will still be will still be affected with the new threshold, but this change will give T-Mobile customers much more data usage each month before having their data deprioritized. Um, so that's a fucking win. Starting tomorrow, September 20th, data deprioritization gives the 50 gigabytes from T-Mobile and Metro PCS. Uh, here's the update. Um. It says while T-Mobile has an issue in the announcement regarding this news, the official T-Mobile, the official T-Mobile help Twitter account just tweeted, starting 9:20, the the limit will be increased in response to a question about this leak. Um, I also have the T-Mobile news Twitter page loaded up here with the tweet. That's the official tweet right here. That's the official tweet right there. Um, that's the tweet right there from Timo News. Uh, starting tomorrow, September 20th. Dude, this shit's fucking crazy, man. Dude, 50 gigabytes for your fucking deep prioritize is a fucking win. 
Dude, I hope Team, I hope AT and T, Sprint, and Verizon will respond to this, and I hope they will uh, up their um depolarization threshold as well. I hope so, because T Mobile is running away with the, with the data game, and they're running away with it. What's next? 100 gigabytes before you uh depolarize? That'd be crazy if that ever if that ever happens. You never know. But 50 but 50 gigabytes before you depolarize and T-Mobile and Metro PCS is a fucking win. And I know that a lot of T-Mobile and Metro PCS customers, customers will love that. And uh, we'll see if uh, Sprint, Verizon, and the AT&T respond. We'll see because they didn't respond to it when uh, T-Mobile raised it to 32 gigs earlier earlier this year. They didn't respond to that. They still kept it the same. Spent at 23. AT&T Verizon at 22 gigabytes before you deprioritize. So, uh, great job T-Mobile. Great job John Ledger. And dude, this shit's fucking insane. 50 gigabytes before you uh, deprioritize. That's fucking insane. That's insane, dude. I hope the other carriers will respond because I mean, this shit's fucking huge. Shit's fucking huge, guys. So, yeah, guys, what do you guys think about T-Mobile and much pieces uh, raising its uh, deep resistance dress out to 50 gigabytes starting tomorrow, September 20th? I know that a lot of T-Mobile customers and much pieces customers will love this. And hopefully the other carriers will respond. We'll have to wait and see how this plays out over the next coming days, weeks, and months and shit. So yeah guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up guys, it really helps me out a lot. Please rate and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.